Hi everybody, Elisa here with Rosie and another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Um, today I just thought I would jump on real quick um, because uh, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, Pantone released its 2021 color of the year and they decided to uh, cover their bases. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of picking one color, they picked two. And the colors are, I couldn't believe this when I saw it. The colors are Ultimate Gray. Although if you watched Stephen Colbert last night, uh, <laughs> you learned that gray isn't really a color. But whatever, Pantone. <laughs> and uh, Illuminating. So these are the, I don't know if this will show up, uh, sort of shows up a little bit on the screen but you can see it's like a mid uh, value yellow and what is going on I'm back there on my comforter <laughs> and a you know a mid value gray uh, and uh, I realized that this oh my god stop scratching my comforter I'm going to regret putting you up here for the video <laughs> Um, I, I realized that for once in my life, I'm in style, I'm of, I'm of the moment, um, because uh, I those two colors are the colors of my Vera Bradley bedding, which is the uh, well, it's a combo of two uh, two of their quilts. Um, it's the Hummingbird Blooms Star quilt, which is you're not gonna be able to see it. I will post a picture on my Instagram again, although I think I already posted one. But it's it's a, a, a large star motif on a white ground, pieced quilt. And um, the other one is just the Hummingbird Blooms. So that one is just sort of a solid uh, quilt top in the hummingbird, the yellow hummingbird uh, blooms fabric. So I sort of have a mashup going on right now. I just fell in love with this pattern when I saw it and so I sort of got everything in it and right now I have the star quilt on my bed with a, a mix of shams and the decorative pillow which I didn't get initially because when I just saw the photo of it online I got all this at Target, uh, no, Target, a combination of Target and Macy's. Um, but when I saw a picture of the decorative throw pillow, I, I wasn't blown away by it. Something about the large gray triangles really didn't do much for me. But then I realized later on that the hummingbird in the center is embroidered. That, that did it for me. Had to get it. So <laughs> I'm sure this is going to wig out my light meter here because it's white. But you can see that's a, the hummingbird, the yellow embroidered hummingbird. And you can see the bits of gray in there. And the and there she goes, <laughs> and the back is is the overall uh, pattern. I don't think I got a bird on the, this particular piece. Oh, I did. So there are I think two hummingbirds in this pattern. Oh, now you want to get back up? Excuse me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So this has one of the hummingbirds on the back that's in this print. I just lucked out. You can see it there. And uh, don't damage my quilt with that. And the other hummingbird uh, is here. Managed to get it, uh, which is really lucky, on one of these pieces that are making up this star motif on the coordinating sham. This is a king size sham that came with the the star quilt that I ordered. And here's the other uh, the other bird. Hummingbird. So I've always loved the combination of yellow and gray. I just think, well I always say I think gray is very elegant, but there's something about the yellow and the gray that I, I've just always really liked. And so when I, on top of the fact that this pattern had birds in it, you know, when I saw the color combo, I, I, I was just sold. I just fell in love with it, and I had to get all the different bedding in it. I, I, I just had to. So this is a basic overall pattern. So on my star, 
on the quilt star. It's it's really quite amazing because there's a lot of pieces with the pattern. As like I said, I'll post it on my Instagram. And I did not get one hummingbird in any of these pieces of the fabric that make up the star motif anywhere on the t quilt top. I did not get one piece. They're, they're cut into diamond shapes on the actual quilt top that has a hummingbird. So somewhere out there, there must be like a quilt top that just has a shitload of hummingbirds all over it. <laughs> so anyway, this is pieced and it may be a little hard to see here because like I said, it's wigging out the camera meet, the light meter, but the white areas are a real kind of cooler, bright white and the background um, of the fabric that has the pattern is sort of a, a warmer, uh, it's still white, I wouldn't call it a cream, but it has that cream kind of cast to it. It definitely has a warmer look to it. Um, so that makes it, the, the, the shapes kind of jump out a little bit, a little bit more visible against the white. So I just, you know, this is the, um, like I said, the back of the, anything that's in the uh, star quilt, the backing of the, the pillows is this, and the back of the quilt is this. So it's kind of nice, you could use it reversibly. Oh my God, why do you keep jumping down? It's a good thing you're cute, okay. And then there, the other, the um, version of the quilt that is just hummingbird, what's it called again, blooms, not the star one. And I do have that quilt too, it's just in my closet. That one just has the solid, the, the top is just a solid um, fabric with stitching on it. It's got sort of a curly Q, circular, free form kind of quilt stitching on top. I don't know if that you can see that there. You can sort of see that there. And then the back of these has this gray leaf pattern, which is very pretty. No birds in there. But what is great about this version is that it has this trim with these hummingbirds, big hummingbirds in the trim. And so at first, I just got a couple of shams. You, you know, you buy the shams individually. And so I got a couple of these shams to go on the bed with my star stuff. But I was feeling like I had to have that quilt too. I just could not help myself. And when I went on a good sale, I ordered the quilt too. So anyway, I just have this, you know, mashup of all, all the different pieces that I'm just sort of using together. And I got some shams for my standard size pillows too that I throw in on the bed. Um, both these and the star uh, motif. And I just gotta say, I'm really happy with it. It's 100% cotton. Um, which is why I like these uh, Vera quilts, the heirloom kind of looking quilts. Uh, everything is cotton. The the top fabric, the, the both sides of the, the fabric are cotton in the, you can sort of see it a little bit here, on the quilts, but also the batting inside is cotton. That's hard to find. I'm, I, when I look around and I'm looking at quilts, it's very hard. Usually the batting is some kind of synthetic polyester or something, is, or a blend. It's not 100% cotton. So the fact that these are 100% cotton, and, they, and Vera, even the Vera website will often have them on sale for good prices. I, I think they're, they're a good value. I really am pleased with them. This is the second one. Well, now I have three, but I mean... <laughs> because <laughs> I have both the hummingbird ones, but I also have a fox, one, the one that's the foxwood star version. I don't know if that's really the official name of it, but that one also, 100% cotton. I will say this one feels a little softer. The fabric is a little softer, a little bit more flexible than the foxwood one, which feels a little stiffer, a little heavier, but I have slept with them both. I sleep with this. I sleep under this. I mean, I've got a fleece blanket underneath, some kind of... Uh, blanket I got from Garnet Hill and my you know my flat sheet and then and then the Garnet Hill blanket and then this on top and sometimes I'll put a throw on top of that um, and it just works out really well and I'm looking at the washing instructions for people um, it's machine wash cold water gentle cycle tumble dry and I have washed I washed this all before I put on the bed so I've washed it all and it's been fine I feel like this might have shrunk just a little bit and I didn't tumble dry it on 
um, high, it was low. I followed the instructions, but I feel like it did maybe shrink a little bit, but not in a way that really became problematic. But you know, it's a king size bed, and you want it to look, you don't want it to look short on the sides. So, you know, the fact that it shrank a little bit, I think, was a little bit of a bummer. I'm not, I'm not remember. I, I couldn't remember when I took it out. I couldn't remember. Gee, does this look a little bit smaller than when I first put it on the bed, just to you know, see what it looked like. <laughs> um, anyway, it does say 100% cotton here, face and back, and the filling 100% cotton. The batting is 100% cotton. Love that. So I really appreciate these quilts. I think Vera does a really good job with them. Really good quality. And uh, for 100% cotton, even when they're not on sale, they're not outrageously priced. Because it's hard to find 100% cotton, and, that, and you get charged for that. But then when they go on sale, if you get them on sale, they can be really good price. And if you've got a coupon, you know, you can stack the coupon with it. So it really ends up being a good deal. And you guys better not be chewing up my quilt. You're lucky I didn't want to cover up my quilt for the video. <laughs> Otherwise, there'd be a throw there right now. So that was it. Just to tell people the names again. The solid, the one with the, the solid piece of fabric on the top is just Hummingbird Blooms. They, the, the, this is just for the sham um, packaging. And the one that is the star, mo you know, uh, quilting pattern is... Hummingbird Bloom Star. This is a standard sham that um, I haven't yet to open. But um, I should open it just to see if I got a see if I got a bird on here. Let's. What, does anyone want to place bets now? <laughs> uh, what the odds are that I that maybe I got a bird on here? Oh, I see part of a bird. It was under the label. There's a part of a bird there. Really, I could not believe it when I opened that star quilt and there was not one piece had a bird in it. Not one. Not one. Luckily, they're all over the back because it's a solid piece of fabric. And I tend to, because I work on my bed sometimes, I don't want to sit on the quilt. So I tend to fold it down, fold it in half down the lower half of my bed. And so I'm always looking, you know, at a big chunk of this fabric. And so I'm always seeing the birds. So... You know, it was, if, if that weren't the case, I think I would have lost my mind when I opened that quilt top and saw that. Not a bird on there. So that seems to be, yeah, I got, I got a couple of bird heads. <laughs> There's another one there. And then here's the poor rest of the bird body with no head. <laughs> so anyway... That's kind of painful. I mean, I'm sure I'll, you know, this is stuff that, that they, they have to machine cut these, right? I mean, there's just no way around that. It's not, it's not profitable for them if they hand cut these. So there's just no way to control whether there's, um, you know, critters or not. But after my experience with Foxwood, we're also on that piece top, I did not, or the star shams, I did not get one fox, not one fox, unreal. So I was, you know, coming off of that, and so if, I think I really, I think my head would have exploded <laughs> if I couldn't say, oh, well, okay, at least they're all over the back, and they're on that trim on the other version, so I got my birds. <laughs> anyway, I just thought, you know, what are the odds that my color, uh, that something would, you know, match up with the Pantone uh, colors of the year? So, this, uh, again, the 2021 Pantone colors of the year are uh, oh, ultimate gray and illuminating and I think they said wait, let me just see I thought this was interesting oh yes it's a marriage of color conveying a message of strength and hopefulness that is both enduring and uplifting <laughs> okay color people anyway so there it is, the Hummingbird Star Quilt uh, with my that coordinates with the Pantone 2021 Colors of the Year, miraculously. Who knew that would happen? <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.